Even the most professional cameras have their limits when it comes to capturing the dynamic range within a scene. This means that a single frame may not be able to capture the full range of shadows and highlights in a scene, leading to areas of the frame that may be over or underexposed. The solution is to shoot multiple images and merge them together to create an HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. Now, as professionals know, time is money, so we want a solution that is quick and efficient, and one of the best routes is to use Affinity Photo 2. The software, which has just seen an upgrade, offers users a high degree of control when it comes to creating an HDR merge, enabling you to fine-tune adjustments so that you can keep control of your own vision. However, what's equally important is the availability of presets that enable pros to achieve a certain look or flavour of HDR with just one click. So let's see how this technique comes together. The best approach to this technique is to start by collating all the images you'd like to merge together, raw files or JPEGs, Affinity Photo can merge either, in one dedicated folder, somewhere easy to source on the computer or hard drive, as this will make it easier to find your images. With Affinity Photo 2 open, head to the top of the interface and click on File. Scroll down to New HDR Merge. A dialog box will appear with a number of options. What we want to do is click on Add. Find the folder, select the images, make sure they're all selected, click Open. So your images are now in the dialog box and it's worth taking a few moments to check your settings. If you took the image sequence handheld, leave the automatically align image box ticked. However, if you captured the image using a tripod, or with the camera fixed by some other method, there's no need to use this so you can unclick it. Leaving noise reduction checked should only really be done if you're merging RAW files, since the RAW pipeline that HDR images use doesn't do any denoising. If you're using JPEGs, they already have a degree of noise reduction applied, so it's better to leave this option unchecked, otherwise you'll tend to sacrifice fine detail. Once you're happy with your settings, click OK. Affinity Photo 2 will work its magic and create the HDR merge. Once complete, you can access the one-click presets on the left-hand side of the interface. My particular favourites are Detailed, High Contrast Black and White, and Dramatic. I think I'm going to go with Dramatic. Depending on your image and the look you're trying to create, you may decide to bypass the presets altogether. But even if you do select a preset, you can still refine the adjustments even further by using the tone map options on the right hand side of the interface. These adjustments include exposure, black point, brightness, contrast, saturation and vibrance, along with white balance and shadows and highlights options too. So I think what I'll do is tweak the white balance for this image, give it a warmer tone by dragging the temperature slider to the right. Once you're happy with your adjustments, head to the top left of the interface and click on the Apply button. This will now transport you back into Affinity Photo 2's Photo Persona, and this is where you can make any further adjustments. For example, if you want to head to the Layers panel and click on the Adjustments icon, you can pick any of these options, I'm going to go for HSL, I'm going to boost the saturation even further by dragging the saturation slider to the right. You can do the same with brightness and contrast, vibrance, curves, whatever you like. With your HDR image complete, you can save the file by heading up to File, scrolling down to Export, and saving the file in your chosen format whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. And there we go, that's how you quickly create an HDR image using Affinity Photo 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.